My good friend Wide Awake has provided us another photograph proving the flat Earth. The photo was taken at a height of 5 feet at the coordinates listed here. All of the coordinates to the racks were taken directly from this brochure. Here is the amazing photo by Wide Awake. There are six racks visible in the photograph, and each rack is 16 feet high. From left to right, we have Bill Watts' tripod, Hernando Beach turn light, Billy Steele south rack, Bayport Channel entrance light, Cutter Rock, and Bayport north rack. Bill Watts' tripod was 4.59 miles from the camera. Hernando Beach turn light was 5.99 miles away. Billy Steel South Rack was 8.31 miles away. Bayport Channel entrance light was 3.48 miles away. Cutter Rock was 11.23 miles away. Bayport North Rack was 7.52 miles away. Here are the globe hidden numbers for each rack with a camera height of 5 feet and the correct distances. You can plug the numbers in here and verify for yourself. Bill Watts' tripod should have been hidden by 3 feet. Hernando Beach turn light should have been hidden by 7 feet. Billy Steel South Rack should have been entirely hidden by 21 feet. Bayport Channel entrance light should have been hidden by only 4 inches. Cutter Rock should have been entirely hidden by 48 feet. Finally, Bayport North Rack should have been hidden by 15 feet. Without question, according to the Globe model, two of the racks, Cutter Rock and Billy Steel, should not have been visible but obscured entirely by the purported Earth's curvature. The top of Cutter Rock should have been 32 feet below the horizon. The top of Billy Steel should have been 6 feet below the horizon. So, in addition to failing the curvature test, I love this photo because it unequivocally demonstrates that all of the lights are on the same plane and that there is no curvature. Are we to believe that refraction only caused the lights of Cutter Rock and Billy Steel to hop the curvature while all the other lights remained where they should? A picture is worth a thousand words and I hope you see here that there is a major problem with the globe model. Thank you.